And since this is a required fight, we will leave it in. It's scripted, though. Uh, we'll have Radius do some work. I said work, Radius. I said work. Uh, quick draw. You know what? Let's see Carnivore. We haven't seen Carnivore yet. Yeah, that's a gigantic Venus flytrap. Which is more about trapping than doing damage, the Venus flytrap, but that's kind of uh, just semantics at this point, isn't it? But yeah, it's just more designed as a prison more than like actually chewing things up with those teeth. Uh-oh, incoming slime! And Fargo is afflicted with Dizzy. Dizzy, I believe, let me just double check because a lot of times I'm wrong about the statuses in this game. Yeah, I'm totally wrong. I thought it would mean that he couldn't hit as much, but no, it means he can't dodge as much. What do I know? All right, let's, uh, let's do some actual damage here. Let's do the arrow blaster. Should do a significant amount of damage. That's why I have to keep a note up at all times as to what the uh, what the status effects actually do. Because th they do, I believe, intentionally throw things on their heads around here. Uh, let's go for the arrow saucer. We can't go for the electro jolt? Was there also an anti-yellow put against us? Does Dizzy also have anti-yellow? I don't have that in my notes. All right, 82 damage, down it goes, and we have one. Another HP for Lynx and Fargo, and Radius gets a little bit this time. He is far behind in HP. He's over 100 behind everybody else. And a Cure Plus does the trick, a Denaderite and a Humor for that fight. 1,412 gold. We're ready to move forward after I push it. Is he not close enough? Or is he not? Push it towards the cliff to stop the jet. Looks like he can push it down. All right, push it. Just wanted to run into it. Oh, that was, oh, it slides like a hockey puck. How nice. Let's go talk to this guy. How you doing, buddy? Maybe if the three sand jets combine their forces into one spot, it could create one powerful sand boil? That's just my theory, but I still need to think of a way to fill up the sand jets. If only I could think of a way to do that. Hey, look, it's an Adorite. Bet you didn't see that coming. Uh, still can't do anything over here. Uh, but I can go around and I believe sneak up on this one. I don't think this is an explosive one. No, we need to fight this one. Once again, it is a scripted fight and it shouldn't take too long here. Uh, there are two of them, but you know, Lynx is strong. Lynx is strong. They do like to spin. These things are glorified hockey pucks at the end of the day. Like air hockey pucks, too. I will say that I am decent at air hockey until I hit my hand. Then I suck at air, air hockey, and I'm like, I don't want to play anymore. Puck hit my hand. Every once in a while, just my hand will leak over the side. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one that does that. More feral cats! more massive damage. Fargo, you go in, you probably finish off this guy. Thank you. And what haven't we seen too much of? We've kind of seen all of these. We haven't seen Ice Blast too much. Something a little new. 145 and then Radius can come in and finish the job. You can only tell that they're really hurt because their eyes start drooping. They don't, like, lean over or anything. Such is the life of a hockey puck. 625 gold, HP, HP, and nothing for Radius again. <laughs> Damn it, Radius, you need to catch up. Did I write in Carapace for that? I will take it. And we, once again, push it towards the sand jet to stop the flow. Push, push it. Push it push it. They're not letting me push it. 
the hell? All right, looks like you, was I not there before? All right, we well we got it done. I guess that's the important thing. And I heard the green tinkler. Looks like we have ourselves a powerful sand jet. Game. Thank you. Go down into the sand boil. Yes. The triggers around here are very specific. Let's continue down. See what we can find deeper inside. We have a record of fate. That can only mean bad things. But if we make it to the end here, we can find a giant sand pit. Looks like it's a dead end. Could this be just a natural cavern of some sort? Doesn't seem like a ruin. There's no point staying here. There's absolutely nothing. No, don't nod. Thou who is bound by fate, what powers doth thou seeketh? Ultimate? Let's go with ultimate powers. Oh my. That is the Earth Dragon. I have to walk up and talk to him again. All right. The time has come. My powers I shall grant to the ones who seek to break the eternal chains of fate. What is it thou seeketh? All right, we'll try it again. Last time they let me get away with saying nothing. I seek nothing. The three mutual powers that obliterated the Dead Sea. They are none other than the God who decides the world's fate. The God that rules mankind. Fate. Once again, all caps in quotation marks, probably important. For mankind to be mankind, for the planet to be a planet. Thou who is bound by fate, go now to the Sea of Eden. I, ne I need your blessing first. So let's go through this again. I seeketh the dragon god's blessing. Dost thou need the powers of the sleeping dragons to cross the Dead Sea? Dost thou seeketh to break the chains of fate? A son of man to challenge the goddess of fate? Fascinating. Then confront my trials! And to no one's surprise by this point, it is boss time once more. We are up against the Earth Dragon, who as far as I can tell does not have eyes. Maybe those little antenna things sticking out of its nose are eyes. But uh, if those aren't, then I don't know what are. So once again, we want to go for a steal here. So I'm going to start with Fargo. I don't need to lay a trap for this one. Okay, that's a significant amount of damage. That was 82 total damage in a little combo there. But once more, we are going to go for the steal. Pillage from the Earth Dragon, please. Give me the thing that I require. I believe we got it. There we go, yellow plate. Once again, I don't think there are any other steals for this one. Uh, just the one that I really do care about. Radius. Probably should have equipped you with the stone, but I think we're fine with the tornado here. Two hundred ninety-one. Lynx could do more. Let's see if he can pull it off here. Yeah, he's still just like super strong compared to everybody else. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Another one of those in radius is done for. But we're still going to continue Lynx's damn combo because it does 300 damage on a critical at the end. Uh, what did I give you? Arrow Blaster. Mm. That was the best thing possible, wasn't it? Let's go for Feral Cats instead. Two 
280. Not as good as a critical level 3. Uh, we'll have Fargo go ahead and heal Radius at the end of this. Unless he finishes him off here. Yeah. No! Alright, he just did the one attack. He just did the one. Thankfully. Uh, let's go for a Cure Plus on Radius, because Radius is about to die. 119! He, uh, he can at least last through a big attack once more. Damn it, seriously? I guess we're going for long shot then. I do have anti-yellow. I don't believe that it works on bosses though. Especially not dragons. We could give it a shot though. Especially considering how much damage I'm doing. Giddy breath. The earth dragon is a centaur peed in disguise. What do you have? Oh, he's got, he's got something nasty. I can't select him anymore, which means that he does have brain? No. Sprain or dizzy? Oh, no, 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 I can't select him because he doesn't have enough stamina. That's it. That is it. All right, let's go for something powerful. How about a free fall? Still alive, huh? Let's defend. We'll defend with everybody because I want to try the anti-yellow. I don't think it's a possibility, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Radius, he is dizzy, which means he can't evade. Not that that was happening too much anyway. Just the level three. All right, let's, let's try the anti-yellow. Once again, I don't think it works. Otherwise, I probably should have used it a lot earlier. Yeah, it misses. It misses. All right, go ahead and finish the job here. Lynx is just too strong. That Master Mune is so good. And down goes the Earth Dragon. So violently. It always feels like we absolutely destroy the dragons every time. But for that, we get another growth level, as I'm sure you might have anticipated, up to level 33 total now. We did get that yellow plate out of it as well. 1,933 gold. 9 HP for Lynx, a resistance, a magic, and a magic resistance. I believe that puts him as the best mage in my party now at 30. Uh, also a level 5 element slot added to the grid. Fargo gets uh, 13 HP, strength, resistance, magic and magic resistance. Can't ask for anything better than that, although an element slot would also be nice. Radius gets 3 HP, a resistance, and a magic. Really? He's, like, just falling further and further behind. He might be too old for this shit. Uh, let's heal everybody. We get a Thunder Snake as a result of this. We have another summon. As you might expect, level 8, plus or minus 0. 